Hi, I'm MJ Firdus. Uh, I'm responsible to for making a video lesson in Mr. Bull web portal. Now I am currently working as a senior software engineer uh, in OT consulting in Italy. I especially work uh, with uh, Microsoft Platform uh, in SharePoint and, and uh, now Visual Studio uh, 2008 with uh, Silverlight and uh, uh, other new technologies. Today I will teach you uh, a simple uh, Silverlight application uh, to make uh, a full screen mode. Uh, it is uh, very easy to implement a uh, full screen mode for any kind of Silverlight application. Today I will show uh, it for Silverlight 2.0 because uh, 2.0 is a little bit f uh, different uh, in some libraries than uh, uh, Silverlight 1.0. So if you have some application in the Silverlight 2.0 uh, which you already implement for full screen mode, uh, it will not work uh, in uh, 2000 uh, Silverlight 2.0. Okay, let's uh, start our uh, first project. Uh, let's say uh, you have to create a new project uh, and uh, with the silver light uh, section let's say i will do it in uh, visual c sharp and you have to select the silver light application like this and uh, we will make a project name like uh, silver light uh, full screen okay then uh, we have to choose, uh, yeah, you can choose anyone, but maybe we can uh, make only the test space to see uh, during the uh, implementation to see the output, which is uh, easier. Uh, if you choose the first one, then it will create another project to integrate this uh, similar application uh, yeah, yeah. XAP extension file to that application. Okay, let's go to directly. Uh, into the page.xml uh, this is a uh, application entering uh, point from where uh, your application will be called if you go to inside this uh, page uh, you will see a startup application uh, code um, like um, a windows application and uh, you can see the application there is a startup function and application exit function and exceptional uh, handling code okay the, uh, here I will uh, implement uh, two controls uh, uh, for showing a simple uh, simple forms uh, you should already see uh, some videos on uh, silver light but the best since I have to show uh, something uh, about full screen mode so I will not go details uh, inside uh, making form I will do some car, uh, copy and paste of the uh, some existing code uh, that I built before to make this lesson uh, for example mm, but I will explain a little bit uh, for you but uh, to make it faster I have to make a uh, copy and paste of this code Okay, let's uh, uh, do, see. Uh, here, uh, the width and height is, uh, for example, uh, I have to remove this. Uh, uh, I will explain you bef later. Uh, uh, we have a, a grid with uh, Alice uh, Blue, and uh, if you uh, see the Data picker. You have to. You can see here data picker, and uh, uh, we have to define the row definition. F uh, if you specify the like, if you compare with the HTML code, uh, HTML table, then in uh, XML code you have to uh, specify row and uh, row and column to set. Uh, uh, the number of columns, uh, width of the columns, uh, and height. 
uh, for the rows and you have to define the stack panel uh, for uh, setting the orientation of your control let's say uh, if I uh, remove this uh, code and uh, if we see okay uh, this is our grid and if I show here the attribute set the attribute show grid like uh, if I uh, show grid lines set true then you will see the uh, border of the uh, line of the grid then you can understand uh, the orientation okay if I change the code and if I uh, if I take a new data picker from here uh, which will be better for the code because maybe it is uh, doesn't support uh, directly f from by co cutting paste so if I do something like this and uh, do uh, something like that uh, here okay now it should work okay good 